What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel I'm Evil Rabbit and we're here today to talk a little bit about round four of SSR. So round four of SSR was the final round of SSR. I didn't go quite as well as I had hoped. Unfortunately um, I made a huge mistake which kind of knocked myself out. So unfortunately I didn't get high enough. I didn't get my ESD license for this season and the seasons are pretty much over. So we're going to be setting our sights on something else for right now. But what is to come in the future for competitive drifting here on Forza Motorsports and for the channel myself. And we'll get in into that a little bit after we uh, go through the runs here against iTandem Crypto. So I did qualify 16th but ended up being 13th after some drivers didn't show up. So we did our burnouts and heated up our tires as best we could because the rain and the weather made it really difficult. So now my tires are pretty much cold. We were waiting because there was something going on with the stream and uh, judges weren't ready or cars weren't ready. I don't really remember what, but I'm sitting there like, all right, my tires are now ice cold. So I knew going into the first turn, I was going to have to like hold a little bit back. So we're sitting there waiting to go off the line, Crypto and I. Crypto was, uh, you know, running that Subaru, probably the lower power to the bunch. So I did have my buddy Nate and uh, my wife Tara watching behind me. But we are waiting for, you know, the light to drop. I kept going in. I was going to go possibly into reverse like Crypto and I. We were going to do quick burnouts. But then I was like, oh, what if I'm in reverse when the gate drops? So the gate drops. We uh, enter in. He kind of got a, you know, a slow start. Kind of threw me off for a second. And I was a little bit shaken, a little bit thrown off by that. So I didn't get my acceleration like I wanted to. But I initiated in. Dropped maybe one tire. Was trying to stay close. Lack of angle. Trying to gain some proximity. Crypto didn't get all the way into the zone, and I tried to stay as close as I could, but the rain was kind of uh, messing with me, so the first run wasn't the greatest, but we managed to actually, you know, get somewhat of a decent chase run, so I knew going into my lead, I was going to have to do something major and have a good solid lead, so I was focused on getting a good initiation, get a good lead run, and hopefully either force him to make an error or get enough points on the board to where we could maybe go OMT or maybe I could take the win but I knew my chase wasn't the best I wish I would have led first to know how he was going to chase me but unfortunately like I said I ended up taking myself out in the uh, lead run and we're going to see that here so we lined back up the gate cars tires are still kind of cold but a little bit warmer than they were on the first run I was running my car in sequential mode so that I didn't accidentally miss a gear but that didn't you know happen so luckily you know that didn't happen if I was running H-Pen or I've missed gears before gone into the wrong gear so we were sitting at the light waiting for our second run so this was the 16 battle against crypto so the gate car dropped I got a pretty good jump off the line and I noticed crypto was a little bit back so I was doing my 50 roll and I was like all right we're gonna bang this thing right in the quick in the fifth gear initiate in I initiated a little sluggish but crypto didn't hit me but I was able to get out to the zone I transitioned decent on that zone filled right there and right here I transitioned too early and dropped two tires which caused crypto to hit me and that was all it wrote because unfortunately I dropped two tires and that was that was pretty much it that was I knew right then and there crypto was gonna take the win so I got knocked out unfortunately the rain kind of threw me a curveball the car handled great if I would have done my part we were rocking the ducky gang a bunch of the other drivers were rocking the ducky game we had our uh, rubber duckies for uh, the wet event, but unfortunately like I said I took the loss So what does this mean for me coming up here very in the future with competitive drifting here? Um, I'm going to continue to try and get my ESDA license. I will be building my PC So I'll be getting on a set of Corsa So I'll be looking at doing the set of Corsa competitions and stuff like that But so my goal here for the upcoming is to be doing some more um, practice getting more seat time in a car and hopefully getting more comfortable in an ESDA spec car so I was watching the thing to see if I won or lost I kinda already knew I lost but unfortunately I was still waiting on it so I will be tuning an ESDA car something different for the driver search for the beginning of next season as well as working on going to doing some other non ESDA pro license or SSR um, comps maybe some grassroots drifting and stuff like that going to be doing some more drift competitions and things of that nature to get more seat time and get more comfortable in tandem battles going to be doing some more open lobbies going to be doing a lot more basically tandem so i can get used to it and get more comfortable you know doing tandem battle situations 
So that's what we were talking about here with this. We're going to go and do some uh, random drift drifting in our car for one last time because I believe the 370 is going to be knocked out for the remainder of uh, the Forza days for competitive drifting for me unless I build it to be ESDA spec. So that's what happened in round four. So let's go have some fun and try and grab some doors and just have a good time. So we did find a random session here on Circuit de Catalunya School Circuit. We brought out the C5 for this session to have some fun with it and just rip this thing around. This car is a good solid car. It is ESDA spec, but I feel like it's not as good as I would need it to be in the chase position. I may work with it a little bit more and see if I can get more comfortable and dialed in it or if I'm going to switch to a whole nother chassis build for ESDA, maybe a lighter car on a smaller with tires, because this is a pretty heavy car. And uh, it's not as quick as it should be, I believe, in the tandems, in the chase position. So we may try and find a different chassis to use. Could be working with a bunch of my friends and uh, they're gonna help me get dialed and comfortable in a car. So hopefully I'll be able to get some tandems and get some tandem practice with them because that's really what I need. I need to be almost in a competitive style practice. So I know SSR people do do practice lobbies and fun lobbies and stuff like that. And that's why I said I was gonna probably do some other like grassroots competitions and stuff that I know about and try, and, ugh, I lost that one. And try and actually get more seat time in battle situations because I feel the, the lack of uh, tandems and, you know, competitive battles that I've been exposed to is kind of, you know, I guess my kryptonite in the sense of I still get a little nervous even though it's a game. You know, the competitive nerves, even though you know it's just a game and there's no real stakes involved, it's still kind of nerve-wracking at times. But, oh my, this car is not like rumble scripts, I remember that now. But we need to get more tandems and more battle situations. So we're going to wait for this line of cars to show up. And maybe we'll be able to uh, throw some doors then this episode off. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. Wait for these cars to show up. And we're going to try and slide. Looks like we got a Clubby Lover 247 with over 4 million points in this session. And he's definitely uh, just sending it. Having a lot of fun. And that's what we're going to do once these guys catch up to us so we can try and grab some doors there we go get some s chassis and a bmw m5 okay that man just died Try and you break that in there. Try and hold on that man's door. Went a little bit inside on me. And now he's all over the track. So this man wants to follow me, so put a wall tap. Kicking the fourth. There we go. Stay on throttle. Kind of just matted. Use a little left foot brake. That's on my door. All right, man. Oh, I pushed it too wide. Oh, I dented his back of his bumper. He wants to follow me, but I kind of want to follow him. But it looks like we're going to be leading this train. Till I totally fuck it up. There we go. All the clutch kicks. Trying to keep this car in fourth. Having the clutch kick to stay in power.
Matted power. Catch up to uh, VA group. Pull the car down. Oh, thought I was going to save that, but apparently I was not going to save that. Why does everyone follow me? I want to follow somebody. Ugh. Curse of public lobbies. Nobody ever wants to. Nobody ever wants to leave. So I guess I'll lean in the tires. Trying to run these courses wide as we can, and we're hitting all the tires. Okay, buddy. Don't have an inch on your eye. Don't make you lose drift. There we go. That's better. That's what I wanted. So I'm going to the fourth. Long e-brake grab. On the third. That grass line. But we're good. Oh my goodness, on the wall. This man is on my door though. Give him props. Sticking me, sticking to it right now. Too much. Too much, too much, too much. Woo! A little bit too much there. I'll follow you, man. A little trade off now. I'll follow this man. Much shorter line than I was. There we go. See if we can't suck back up this door through the sweeper. Man's got a nice flowy line. I can tell he's probably on a controller or a low wheel rotation because, well, he's. Got that twitchy front wheel, but it's all good. He's still getting down, and we're kind of right there. Oh my goodness! Too much on the brakes. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here of Forza Motorsport 7. We're going to try and get a few more tandems with him before we end this episode off. Ah, losing it, but going to try and come back. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. If you guys like it, if you want to see more, make sure you follow me. And smack that like button. I would appreciate the support. All right, looks like he's going to follow me through here. Grass life. That was a much better line. Oh, my thumb cracked. Ooh, door dives. Oh. Wrote off.